Hello and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am Fatima Siddiqui for the news headline. Reps for NLC over lawmakers 100 million naira paletti. CBN to sanction forex operators for market infractions. Federal government predict heavy rainfall flood in 48 towns. Commission backs proposed the minimum standard for secondary education. NSC launches Smart Innovation Hub for research commercialization. Ransom from kidnappings, foiling terrorism, banditry in Nigeria, says NSA. PWDs call for more inclusion to meet 2030's SDGs target. Nigeria's under 18 women's and ball team confidence ahead of championship. Now, the news in details. The House of Representatives has denied claims by the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress that the federal government gave 100 million naira to members of the National Assembly as palliatives. The National Assistant Secretary of the NLC, Christopher Onyeka, had made the allegation in a statement issued in Abuja. Reacting to the allegation, House Committee Chairman on Media and Public Affairs, Akin Rotimi, Describe the allegation as baseless and devoid of factual accuracy. The Central Bank of Nigeria has vowed to sanction heroin international money transfer operators allegedly engaging in foreign exchange arbitrage. The Hepex Bank said this in a cycle signed by the CBN Director of Trade and Exchange Department, Dr. Kaya. The bank stated that it had discovered that some IMT hosts we are operating and acting in breach of its directive. The federal government has said every rainfall that could lead to flooding may eat about 48 towns in 13 states. It's predicted that the rise in the water levels of River Benue and River Niger could affect communities along the rivers up to Bayesa State and advise residents in these areas to take precautionary measures. The government disclosed this in the flood prediction report of the National Flood Early Warning System Central Hub of the Federal Ministry of Environment. The National Senior Secondary School Education Commission has said that the proposed national minimum standards will set benchmark for the establishment and operation of senior secondary education in the country if implemented. It said it would also significantly reposition the sector which had suffered neglect and deterioration in terms of infrastructure and equipment, leading to the production of poor quality students. The Nigerian Society of Engineers has unveiled its Smart Innovation Hub to foster productivity, networking, and commercialization of research works by members and stakeholders. Speaking at the event on Wednesday in Abuja, the president of NSC, engineer Tashu Gida Riudu, said that the hub was conceived in 2016 to see how to empower the Nigerian engineer on the expectations of the country. According to him, the innovation hub is where the ideas will come, be developed and commercialized, adding that most of the research work in Nigerian universities is not commercialized. The coordinator, National Counterterrorism Center, Office of the National Security Advisor, Rear Admiral Yamino Musa, has said that the large volume of kidnapping taking place in the country and the proceeds generated through ransom payments are being used to foil terrorism. He said the kidnapping menace requires concerted and sustained effort by every citizen, government at all levels, international community, and the media. Persons with disabilities have called on the federal government and stakeholders to prioritize disability inclusion as a strategy to meet the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 target. The national president of the Joint National Association of PWDs, Dr. Abdullah Usman, 
said there is need to bridge disability gaps and promote good governance. According to him, Nigeria has an estimate of over 30 million PWDs who are being marginalized on the grounds of gender, poverty, age, or other factors, and their rights are often denied because of stigmatization and discrimination. Last on the news is sports. Nigeria's under-18 women's handball team is brimming with confidence as they prepare to represent their country at the 19th African Women Youth Handball Championship set to take place in Monastia, Tunisia. Coach Shitu Adewumi Abwala, accompanied by his assistant, Coach Robert, echoed the sentiments of the players. They emphasized their collective resolve to ensure that the team performs exceptionally well at the championship. Come to the end of the news. Here's a recap of the story. Reps for NLC over lawmakers 100 million naira palliative, CBN to sanction forex operators for market infractions. Federal government predicts heavy rainfall flood in 48 towns. Commission backs proposed minimum standard for secondary education. NSC launches smart innovation hub for research commercialization. Ransom from kidnappings, foiling terrorism, banditry in Nigeria, says NSA. PWDs call for more inclusion to meet 2030 SDGs targets. Nigeria's under-18 women's handball team confident ahead of championship. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News at 9. Don't think that you can always win, but believe you can't lose. For more news. Visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a tap at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on justeventonline at gmail.com. I am Fatima Siriki. Good night.